What you guys got another ransomware removal video here for you and in this one we're going to be using a free tool from Trend Micro it's called anti ransomware tool it's basically a tool that will remove ransomware from the system there is a downside to it in the fact that you have to have a, another computer to download this onto your system so you'd need to download this on another computer put it onto a thumb drive and then boot your infected PC up into safe mode with command prompts and then run the program from there because these ransomwares do block safe mode with networking and also uh, de the desktop so you can't do anything there okay so what we're going to do is show you two methods with this uh, tool on what you can do in removing ransomware from the system assuming that you've got another computer and you've also got a flash drive and uh, you've managed to get it onto your desktop it is only a small download as you can see 4.34 megabytes in size and uh, what I'm going to do is infect this with two different types of ransomware and show you two methods of removing them. So let's get started. So first off, let me just activate this uh, ransomware first and see if we can get it fired up. Okay, so we've got our ransomware now installed on the system. And as you can see, it's pretty much like all other ransomwares really. It just blocks you from using your computer. Now some of them are easier to remove than others. Uh, with these latest ransomwares out but I'll show you how to use this in two different ways okay so let's restart our system into safe mode uh, with command prompt and if you don't know how to do that the instructions should be on the screen right now okay so now let's reboot our system okay so we're advanced boot options here and uh, what we need to do is come down to safe mode with command prompt now this uh, Ransomware will run in safe mode and safe mode networking. Okay, so at safe mode with command prompt now, what we need to do here is type explorer. And that will give us our desktop. Now once you've got the here, you'll have your program that you can now install. Okay, now you can get this from your USB flash drive. I'm not going to bother with this part, but you would put your USB flash drive in and get this file. Once you've got this file, you can run it and install it on the system. It will then give you this uh, option here. And what you can now do is run a scan. So we'll just run a quick scan on the system and straight away you'll see it finds the actual ransomware. So we'll just put our tick in there and what we can do now is click on clean that is one way of removing it now the system should be clean let's reboot our system and there you see we're back at our desktop the only thing it doesn't do is remove all these odd remnants that are left behind from these ransomware okay so you will need to run malware bytes and stuff like that once you've got the system clean okay so once you've got your system clean you just remove all this other junk from the system now we'll reinfect it again and I'll show you another way of doing it with that same tool so let's reinfect the system okay so we have our ransomware on the system and this could be any type of ransomware for any type of country whether it be Germany America France Italy any of these com uh, countries Poland that we've all got ransomwares in our countries and it can cause a lot of hassle so don't pay for these types of things okay they are a scam and I'm going to show you uh, a tool that we can use which I said trend micros um, a tool to remove it so let's reboot our system into safe mode with command prompts now if you don't know how to do that the instructions will be on the screen right now okay so let's reboot our system okay so we're now at advanced boot options and we need to um, come down to safe mode with command prompt now if I try to boot to safe mode with networking or safe mode I will be uh, greeted with the same problem which will be that ransomware so let's go to safe mode with command prompt okay so at the uh, command prompt in safe mode and what I'm going to do here is type explorer and this will bring up our desktop we can close this off now now you should be 
able to plug in your USB flash drive at this stage. Uh, I'm not going to bother doing that, uh, that step, but you should be able to plug in your USB flash drive and it will be displayed up here. And you'll then be able to get your file, which will be this one, and then we can install this file, okay? And that's exactly what we want to do here. So now we've done that, we want to reboot the system, and I'm going to show you the way uh, you can use this tool. So that's now installed. So I'm going to quickly reboot the system. And there we have our ransomware again. So what we need to do now is push these keys on the uh, keyboard and you'll see the keys displayed on the screen. Control, left control, T and I. And you repeatedly tap those keys, okay? So I'm gonna quickly do this for you. And once you do that, you'll see this pop up. We're gonna put a tick in there. Let it do its scan push clean okay we're gonna keep scanning here just to make sure everything's gone and that's now finished close that off and we now have our desktop back as you can see now what I'd advise you to do now is use malware bytes and download that and run that okay so that's how you use the trend micro anti uh, ransomware removal tool um, on a system that is infected with ransomware and there's two methods there now if any of these methods don't work then I've also done some other videos using some other methods and you can have a look at those also okay the only downfall with this method is you need to have another computer to get that file onto your USB flash drive and then onto your computer but other than that I think it's a good little tool to use to remove ransomware from the system so if you enjoyed these videos hit the like button guys it really does help me out and also, if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos, then hit the subscribe button, guys. Okay, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great Christmas, guys, and a happy new year to everyone. And I'll see you again real soon in the new year. Okay, so thanks again. Bye for now.